Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to test out the Top Don Arta Battery 101 battery tester. Thank you to Top Don for sending me this to test. So I'm going to test the battery in my Mini Cooper. This battery is from April 2017. I'm pretty sure this battery is good. I've not been having any troubles with it or anything like that. I'm just testing it for the video. So when you hook this up to the battery, it'll come on automatically. It has a safety feature where if you hook it up backwards, it's not going to damage the item or your car or anything. So I'll show you that. I'll put the negative on the positive and the positive on the negative. Nothing happens. So now I'll put them on the correct side so I can test the battery. You can do an in-car test or out-of-car test. So when you hook up the cables, the top down auto battery comes on automatically and tells you your battery voltage right there you hit OK you select your language choose whether the battery is in the vehicle or out of the vehicle choose whether you're testing the battery before charging it or after charging it this is before charge then you got your battery type selection you got regular flooded AGM flat plate AGM spiral gel EFB and back to regular flooded. Then you got your input type SAE, MCA, BCI, CA, CCA, DIN, JIS, EN, IEC, GB, and back to SAE. Those are the different battery standards that are out in the world. Here in the US, most batteries have their cranking amps and cold cranking amps listed on the battery. And if you're working with a marine battery, you're probably going to select MCA for marine cranking amps. So I'm going to go with cold cranking amps for this battery. And I'm going to enter the spec that's listed on the battery. To be honest, this battery doesn't have a sticker. <laughs> I got this battery from the junkyard. I don't really care. It fits in this little spot here and it starts the car. So I'm going to go with 450. Now it'll test the battery. All right. It's a good battery. Then you'll hit OK and go to the next test. Cranking test. I got to start the engine. Now we can move on to the next test, which is a charging test. That's it, that's all the tests. Now we'll move on to another car with a battery that I think is bad. So I have my 04 Chevy Express here, and there's the battery. I actually think this battery is bad. It will lose charge after about a week of sitting, so we're gonna use this to find out. Replace. It's telling me to replace it. Healthy battery should be at like 12.6 volts when it's just sitting there. I'm just going to keep using it until it's completely dead. Because that's what I do. I will try a cranking test. Because it's good enough to start the engine, but it struggles a little bit. Cranking normal, 9.88 volts. See, it's good enough to start, but it's not an incredibly healthy battery. Now we'll do a charging test. I 
everything is good there. And now we have completed the three tests that this little unit can do. The battery is bad, but it still works, and I should be expecting to replace it sometime soon. Another cool thing about this is the screen is backlit, so you can use it at night. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. I'll have a link to the Art of Battery 101 in the description of this video, so go check it out if you're in the market for a battery tester. This one is actually really good and I like it a lot.